Hello, Sagittarius. My name is Missy, and I'm here to do the bullshit and the blessings for the Earth Path of September. I'm going to go ahead and get right into my disclaimer so that we can get into the reading. Uh, these readings are meant to be timeless and general in nature. If the details fit for your situation, the reading is meant for you. But if they do not fit, please do not try to make them fit, as that will do more harm than good, and is definitely not my intention. I am not a doctor, lawyer, or accountant, so if you need any advice in those areas, please consult a professional. And please do not do something simply because I suggest it in one of these videos. That will do more harm than good and is definitely not my intention. So what we're going to do is get some general energies from our oracle decks here. We're going to get the details from the tarot, and then we'll get... Uh, we'll do a quick pick a card to see what the romantic energies are before we move on to the charms. We have the song, uh, I Won't Let Go by Rascal Flatts. Oh, interesting. We've got relationship change and perseverance on the bottom of the deck. The colors are very complimentary so far. No. Okay, now we have green on the bottom again. Uh, talks about revitalizing your nervous system, which to me always speaks to like uh, cleansing and healing your energy. Maybe rest if you need it. So now we've got attract success and find richness from the dark night. Okay. So um, it's basically saying like if you're going through a relationship change at this time to allow the, the wisdom that you learn either from the relationship itself or from the end of the relationship itself to help you, like you, you can use that wisdom to help you gain success, more than likely to help you gain, like to help you um, successfully navigate the next relationship that you're in. But there could be more that you learn from the process of this relationship that could be very beneficial to you. Especially with these two colors here, this is uh, Earth Star and Root Chakra, so it's all about grounding, right? Which is definitely something that you want to do after you've done shadow work because you want to integrate, you know, integrate all of that wisdom and new knowledge that you've discovered through the process of shadow work. And that's what this is saying. Um, you need to persevere even through the pain. We have the song, uh, hold on. Why is it doing that? The Point of It All by Anthony Hamilton. I feel like these two want to come out. There we go. Now we have the seven of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, which talks about being patient. But also if you look at this, this card here, perseverance, the color of it is pretty much the same message as the seven of pentacles coming out on the bottom of the deck. It's saying, you know, keep going, keep persevering at, but also you have to be patient. Like you can't expect to see, I don't know, success or whatever immediately, right? Or you can't expect to heal immediately. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, with the King of Pentacles. So actually, very positive, um, especially because of this King of Pentacles here. <clears throat> Uh, 
Yeah. Um, the way that these, like, uh, these cards are on the bottom of the deck, the way that they came out, it's like saying, be patient because, you know, this defeat actually brings about a new beginning that is very balancing. Oh, and uh, very, it's like, uh, makes you feel very successful, like you've accomplished something. Also, you're going to feel very much recognized as well. And I want to, I just want to point something out where I said that um, maybe the wisdom that you're going to be learning from the end of this relationship is going to help you successfully navigate the next relationship that you're in. It's possible that that's what this King of Pentacles is representing because it, literally in both of these cards, the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, it looks like there's something being offered and the Eight of Wands talks about communication. So somebody may be coming in and saying, hey, let's, let's, go, uh, let's go out to lunch or something. Um, you know what's so interesting is that we have the song Deal With It by Ashniko playing in the background. And then look, uh, the time it says 4.48 p.m., but it's at 80%. So 4.488, and you do have, like, uh, here's an 8 here. We've got the 4 here. Um, okay, so especially with this song here, it's like... Um, Uh, God, I hate to say this, but I feel like somebody is saying, look, I'm sorry, but I don't want to be with you. You have to deal with it. Although this song is not very nice, but like, that's the message here. But the cards are trying to be a little nicer about it. They're trying to say like, um, yeah, see, she just said, I know it wasn't love. It was just a big, bad habit. Right. So take that wisdom, learn from it. Like whatever this other situation was, it probably wasn't all that all that. So let's move on to the romantic energy. Um, we're going to have groups one, two, and three. Whichever group that you choose, I'm going to have one card from this deck, one card from this deck to give you a special message uh, regarding your personal situation. That can be a message that um, is a continuation of this story, or it can be a message that is something completely different. Uh, take it however it resonates for your situation. So this is going to be group one, group two, and group three. And actually, I'm going to change it out because this one feels more like it belongs here. So that's going to be group two. God, I, I feel like whoever the person was that's telling you to deal with it, they were probably an asshole. And that's probably a big part of the lesson that you're learning is that, you know, assholes aren't all that just because they look good. I don't know why I feel like that's the message, but that's what it feels like. Like somebody being just so uh, an asshole about a breakup and telling you to just deal with it. But spirit is telling you to take the wisdom that you've learned from this and um, apply it going forward because there might be somebody very stable in your future going forward. With this King of Pentacles, um, it's like an offer being made. I don't know if I said that already. I might have gotten sidetracked when I was trying to explain that. But with that King of Pentacles, it's like an offer being made. And it's an offer from someone who's very stable and very secure. Um, it's like an offer of, hey, let's go out on a date because of this Eight of Wands here in the center. It's like, let's get to know each other because there's going to be conversation happening. So, yeah. And then look, <laughs> now we have the song. Girl, You Know It's True by Millie Vanilli. So C went from deal with it to girl, you know it's true. Um, and I think that's because of the wisdom that you've learned. All right, so this is group one, group two, and group three. And then we go for group one. There we go for group two. 
And here we go for group three. All right. Dang, how many did group one get? <laughs> oh, look, you've got the star to start off with. And then we've got the Knight of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Emperor, and the Three of Wands. All right, so there's a lot of fire energy coming through here. Um, it could be that you're dealing with an Aries because of the Emperor and the Knight of Wands. Uh, those are the two cards that represent people, and both of those are, are fire energy, but the Emperor is ruled by Aries. So more than likely, you're probably dealing with an Aries or someone who is a fire sign, just like you. Um, but they came out like this, right? So the Knight of Wands, in a, in a romantic reading, you have to go by the uh, personality traits of the court cards, right? So the Knight of Wands is someone who tends to come and go quite a bit, which means they're not always reliable because they're not there. They, how can you be reliable if you're not there, if you're constantly coming and going, right? Um, but whoever this person is that's constantly coming and going has a declaration of love, a declaration of I want to be the the main man, the main person, like I want to take control and lead this relationship, right? And yet there's waiting. It's like this promise of something and yet waiting, waiting, waiting. Maybe there's waiting for an answer, but with the star card, there's healing over this energy. So just take it however it resonates for your situation. It could be like past energy where somebody came in and promised all this stuff and then didn't deliver and you kind of sat there waiting and so now there's healing over that um or it could be that there's some reason that this person is constantly coming and going um and while they very much love you um they kind of can't help it and you have to like there's still healing over this energy but there's also some uh, understanding as well i don't know take it however it resonates so for group two, we've got the four of wands, and this is basically like the ace of wands. So, you know, very good, like new start celebration energy, especially if um, it's like you start dating again, like if you've been in, the, in a, the relationship before, but you start dating again. Um, and so if you chose this, um, it could be like a new start in this particular relationship where the shadow work that you've gone in to do with the scarlet and black cards and the wisdom that you're integrating from it helps you um, to, to have a new start in this relationship. Uh, we have the song here, the 2 a.m. version by Alicia Cara. Okay, so for group three, we have temperance and the hierophant. So this is actually very good energy. It's like if this is a committed relationship, there's healing over this over this relationship and, and commitment to come, like healing and balancing and commitment to come with the hierophant card there. So again, this would be another situation where the shadow work that you're doing because of this conflict in the relationship is actually helping to build the relationship better. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the charms. And they all came out over the throat chakra, and I really was trying to get them to spread out. So you definitely have some talking that needs to happen. Um, very possibly uh, somebody could be leaving your life as well. But um, give me one second to kind of do a little bit of a scan of this. Um, because here's the thing. Um, with this particular rune, this is a rune of like protection. It's the 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 yew tree. Um, it's like self de self defense. Um, I'm sorry, that's not the yew tree. This is uh, algae's uh, a l g i z. It's self defense and protection. Um, 
like you know what you need to say to protect yourself or you know what information that you have or something about information and how to protect yourself. Also, um, with this microscope coming out over the heart chakra with the throat chakra, it's like paying attention to the details of what was said because that's going to tell you where someone's true heart lies. Also with the chicken coming out over this throat chakra over here, someone's afraid to speak. But um, the chair has fallen over. So that means somebody is definitely going to be leaving your life, probably because you're going to realize what they truly feel based on, you know, the paying attention to the words that they're saying or maybe what they're not saying. But you do have the scales of justice and the key of faith with the sun here. So that's all very positive energy. And you also have the number six domino. Six is the number of love. So like love is going to be at the center of this or having love uh, can be very protective and keep you safe. It's also very trans trans um I can't say that word transmute transmutative it transmutes negative energy into positive energy um so for the key of faith we have this little card here that has a, a saying that came with that charm it says trust in the Lord with all your heart live with compassion every day your faith holds the key to unlock God's plans may blessings come down your way um so it's having faith that speaking up, like taking the action of speaking up is going to balance things out or going to bring justice to a situation, bring clarity to a situation, because it will. Like that's basically, um, it will help to take that negative energy and turn it into something positive. We have the song Now or Never by Halsey. So here in the very center, we've got the day rune with the dollar bill sitting on top of both the moon and sun. But the day rune um, is sitting on top of the moon. So I feel like uh, there's like clarity coming in through your intuition um, that can be very abundant or like a blessing for you, basically. Um, because that the day rune is all about clarity or the dawn, the, the light of dawn or the light of day. Um, so there's no more darkness. There's no more confusion. Maybe there's no more confusion between the two of you because of clarity, right? That could be through communication. And then we have the number nine domino uh, that came out with the cup rune, but the cup is in the upside down or in the reverse position. So... Um, I feel like, especially with the number nine, like, and this particular chair upside down over here, like there could be an ending where somebody is leaving your life and you could feel like, like a loss of security based on where that rune is sitting. Uh, but you do have some support and love around you, probably from your family uh, with this gift here. Like there is, there is love and support to be have, had. And then you've got this piece of um, rutilated quartz over here. Uh, with or not related terminated courts, which talks about getting grounded, uh, detoxing and cleansing, protecting your energy. I also feel like with this, it's saying, especially with this, it's saying maybe your family or friends can be very nurturing and protective for you. Like you have the gift of love from family and friends, even though somebody is leaving your life and you feel like it is, um, like you don't have any security or support. You really do with these two, um, these two here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that here. I hope that resonates. Uh, if it does not, please stick around. There may be another reading for you here on the channel that does. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, hit the notification bell, anything that you can do to help me get my channel out there as I'm new here, and I thank you for watching.